Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. I'm especially excited to have Dave D. I am a huge fan of magicians uh, <laughs> and marketers, uh, which we have both. Uh, today we have Dave D. who is one of the top direct response marketers. He helps run Glazer Kenny Inner Circle, known as GKIC. And that is the top echelon. If you don't know what it is, the top echelon of marketing. Dave runs the marketing there. Uh, Dave started a small chain of magic shops in karate school before pursuing his dream of being a professional magician. And after applying direct response marketing, of course, Dave went from going three shows a month to averaging over 25 shows a month in less than 90 days. And of course, people want to know, what are you doing? They want to pick his brain. So now over 16 years, he's been teaching these same methods to tens of thousands of entrepreneurs. Dave, thanks for joining me. Hey, man, I'm super happy to be here and uh, really excited about this. So since it's Inspired Insider, I want to hear, and you talked a little, you referenced a little bit, but you know, for someone who may be experiencing it now, um, what's been the lowest moment? What was the lowest moment? And then how you pushed forward mm. through it? through that tough time um so there's there's two lowest moments okay uh the first is a business lowest moment and the second is a personal lowest moment and the personal one was more difficult to push through than the business one mm. so so the lowest moment was at the karate school uh when uh my wife at the time tracy uh, was working two jobs. She was a school teacher, a special ed teacher, and she had to um, work at, uh, it still bothers me to this day, this is like 18 years, by the way, 19 years, but to this day I still feel it. She had to, She was after school she went and was a cashier at Target because I was making no money. And when I say no money, I was making no money. I was losing money, I was living on credit cards. Uh, what helped me push through that? Why was, was that? Why does that still bother you today? What is it? What about it? Oh, because I mean, because the story is, in a year she had quit both of her jobs, and was a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why it still bothers me, but it still does. It still I can still because I I go back I guess method acting right. I go back and I put myself in that place. Um, and I think that's valuable to do if you've struggled because there's people, your customers or the people, if you're writing copy for someone, they're, they're, they're struggling. Right. You've got to be able to, to feel that. So what helped me persevere through that was I was always into, I was always a positive thinker. I was always constantly studying uh, the Jim Rohn thing, Take Charge of Your Life, the program Take Charge of Your Life. That's the first program I listened to from Mr. Rohn. Just the title. Just the title was amazing right yeah and um, i remember him talking about in, in that program he talks about how his mentor he had a mentor mr shelf and when he was a young man he went to mr shelf with his list of reasons literally a list of reasons why he wasn't successful why he wasn't doing better you know my parents aren't supporting uh, aren't supportive of me the government taxes too much my job doesn't pay enough and mr shelf took his list looked it over he said mr Rohn, this is the fine list this is the fine list. There's only one one problem with your list. You ain't on it, right? You're not on the list of the reasons why you're not doing well. Right. And so listening to that, going, um, I you know I think that's a tough pill to swallow, though. Yeah, I think part of it is uh, luck or divine presence, whatever. Going to that, going, getting that seminar, going going to that seminar. I didn't go there to see Dan. Um, you know, Zig Ziglar was. Speaking. You know, there's three people who have said that almost exact same story. Perry Marshall's one of them. He said, yeah. "I just went to the success right. seminar. Dan was at the end of it, right. and then I became the Google ads." Yeah. You know, it plays out. It's played out several times from talking to people. Yeah, and so the, to push through it was getting up the energy through this positive motivation. And just doing something, forcing myself to do something, and really that came down to desperation. Yeah. I mean, so uh, you know, again, to quote Jim Rohn, he's got he calls it the day that changes your life forever, the day where you finally say, "It's enough. I, I'm not living like this any freaking more." Right. Okay. And so 
it really came down to desperation and a bit of anger for that one. Yeah. Um, the next lowest point was when I got divorced. Uh, wow. That was brutal. That was brutal for me. That was brutal for my business. Uh, and I remember doing um, four seminars. All of them lost money. All of them, because I just was not in the game. It was. It was. It was very. Mentally, very it's just so grueling. So grueling, financially grueling, and um, and, and but again, a, a lot of that is just so just time, right? It's just time, and so. I went back to my roots. I listened to the Jim Rohn and the Tony Robbins and Dan Kennedy. And I, I, I talked to friends who were supportive. I belong to a mastermind group outside of GKIC. All right. It's amazing. Perry Marshall is in it. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, just brilliant, brilliant pot, you know, guys that I, I, that really helped me. Yeah. That really. That was one of the main things. If you don't belong to a mastermind group, you got to get into a mastermind group. And we've got some at GKIC. Maybe yeah. you have one. Whatever it is, you yeah. got to get into a professionally run mastermind group, yeah. right? So, I mean, I pay for my mastermind group outside of GKIC to practice what I preach. Yeah. So that was that was a huge one, and you know, just then just getting just doing it, just again saying, okay, listen, I got to take action. But the point is, I know that some people watching this right now are really struggling. Yeah. Right? I know there's people that are doing great, and life is great. Yeah. And all of that, but yeah. I can tell you, I've been there. Yeah. Right? I have absolutely been there. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it can change, and it can change fast for you. You've got to believe it, and you've just got to start taking action. You got to start implementing stuff. You got to do stuff, and don't even worry if it works, because not to get metaphysical, but when you put that out into the universe, right? right and you start doing stuff, good stuff begins to happen to you. Yeah. When you're huddled in the corner either metaphorically or huddled in the corner right literally nothing will happen for you yeah so um all the positive thinking in the world you need that but then you need that positive thinking to stir you to take action right. positive thinking on its own isn't going to manifest anything gary halbert uh said it great he said you accomplish a lot more with movement than you do with meditation right. now, i'm a meditator so i meditate okay yeah. and i'm positive thinking i do all that kind of stuff but you, the positive yeah. thinking purpose of it is yeah. to help you get through these tough times and motivate you to take action. Yeah. Those two are how I got from struggling to yeah. success. You know, Dave, I appreciate you sharing that because those are really tough, tough things that you yeah. know, have happened and talk about it. On the other side of things, what's been one of the proudest moments? My kids. Nothing to do with business. Yeah. My children Tell are Tell me awesome. about that because that I could see... You you have five kids. That is. Yes, I've got I've got two. I don't even know own. how you do that. That's the most impressive thing about this whole <laughs> interview. Forget about everything he just said. This yeah. is the most impressive thing, actually. Yeah, no, no, no question. My awesome kids. Yeah. Way better. Way. How do you my, do my that? number one job is a, is a is a daddy. Yeah. By far, that's my number one value. By far, more yeah. than making money, any of that. Um, so I've got I've got two of my own, Gina and David, and then I've got three stepkids. And uh, I just was recently married. There we go. There's, there's the rate. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, awesome woman. Um, so I got three more kids. And uh, this is a whole other topic. If we want to have another call, <laughs> we can about, about uh, I call it intention-based value setting as opposed to goal setting. What do you mean? And so I've got my journal right here. And uh, in my journal, I have what my, my greatest values are. Yeah. My definition of those. By the way, it's not. We're getting way off the track here, but there's no wanted, there's no track. The track is yeah. Okay, I'm happy to do another one because this is yeah. this is big. Um, this is this is more than value. So when people say, well, what what are your values? Well, my values are honesty, integrity. Okay, that's not what I'm talking. About. I'm talking about what do you value? Yeah. What what is most important to you in your life? So I've got a list of my values here. So my children, being a great father, yeah. being a world class husband. I've got all of those things, living a spiritual life, all of those things. Now, how do I define those things? So what is my definition of, of what that is, right? Yeah. Then the next phase is, okay, what are three things that I need to do, three fundamentals that I need to do on a consistent basis in order to actually live those values? Yeah. And I make sure that I create, then, then I create rituals around those things. 
Yeah. So that they happen automatically. So success becomes inevitable. I don't have to think about it. So, for example, I've got a morning ritual. My morning ritual, we can go over it, but it consists yeah. of mental, spiritual, physical. So I, I get up, um, I uh, you know brush my teeth, all that stuff. I, I then do uh, an hour, 45 minutes to an hour of yoga, followed by meditation. I then have my, a protein shake and my vitamins and medicine and all that kind of stuff. Um, I then will then come to my journal and I write down my three most, imp- first of all, I write down the very top of the page, what I'm most grateful for that day. Yeah. Something I'm grateful for. One thing. And I just don't write it down. I actually feel it. So I'm filling myself with grat- filling my, with a feeling of gratitude. Um, I'm a Christian, so I end it with, you know, thank you, Lord, for all of my blessings. Yeah. I then write down uh, my MITs, my three most important tasks for the day. Three. Yeah. Three most important tasks. At least one of those has to relate to living my value. Yeah. Right? So... I, I can go look at my list. So, uh, hey, okay, I gotta have a, I gotta set up a date with my daughter. So it's just my daughter and me going out on a date. Yeah, and that's I love what. That. Yeah. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So one of those, at least one of those, every single day has to be one of my most important tasks. Because yeah. then I'm living my values. Yeah. And then I write miscellaneous. So here are a list of miscellaneous things that I need to accomplish. Yeah. I then go from this, and I'll tell you why. I'll give you a resource. It's called BulletJournal.com. Okay. BulletJournal.com. They don't sell anything. It's just their process of journaling. Yeah, I, I, I've adapted it, but I'm giving you the basics of it. Yeah, because by having it in a journal, you're recording your life. Yeah, you're recording your life as opposed to just having it on your Outlook calendar. I then take my most important tasks and I go to my Outlook calendar and I block off time for those most important tasks. Yeah, and I go to work. On um, my most important task, and that's basically my it, morning. This, this is amazing, and if you're open to it, I'd love to. I want to respect. This is a New Year's Eve day, and I want to respect yeah. your time. And I'd love to do a session on when Dave, you know, the day in the life of Dave D. Like yeah, waking I, up I, in the morning, I'd love to share this to I'm going to bed. He members, and it got a tremendous response. It's, it's different than goal setting. It's yeah, different than goal yeah. setting um, because a lot of goal setting, it's action based. Yeah. So things I can do because a lot of goal setting. The problem with it is there's things that are beyond your control. So you set an arbitrary goal of making a certain amount of money, which is fine if you do that, if it works for you. Right. But there are things that are beyond your control, right? And what if you do everything you possibly can do to maximize your income? And that's true. And you don't reach the goal. Well, you, if you did everything you, you failed, possibly yeah. could to maximize your income, you there's nothing else you can do. Right. There's just some really cool studies. We'll, we'll do another call. Yeah. There's some there's there's some really cool studies um, that take the opposite approach of why goal setting does not work and why goal setting can actually be detrimental to your success. So I don't buy it in completely, but it's all other topic. Yeah, and and to go back to the proudest moment, what was one of those moments that you put in, like that date with your daughter or with your son? <laughs> what was one of those that sticks out to you as being because you wrote it down? It happened. It was so amazing. Uh, hmm. Well, getting, well, paying off the eighty thousand dollars worth of debt in a year was pretty damn big. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> yeah, that that was huge. I mean, that that was huge. Uh, that was a, becoming a professional magician when I fully realized, hey, I did it. I did. It. I'm making a really good freaking living here, doing yeah. something I love that most people said I couldn't do. That was huge. Um, seeing my daughter. Uh, on stage, yeah. Have the, having the having the guts to, as a little kid to go on stage and play the electric guitar and play a Ramon song. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, this has been fantastic. I really appreciate. It. I mean, oh. I could this could go on for hours, and I'm going to stop myself. Um, where should we point people towards? Where should they check out online? Yeah. You? So you want to go to a if you're not a GKIC member. You definitely want to check it out at gkic.com. Yeah. Uh, we've got a, a, a two-month trial. Mm-hmm. We send you a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's, it's, good, it's good stuff, but you get a two-month free trial of our membership to see if you like it. If you don't like it, then you, you know you, you don't you don't continue. Yeah. But you know it's me, it's Dan Kennedy, it's some of the the, the sharpest direct response marketers on the planet For who sure. are training you. You get a newsletter, yeah. you get CDs, you get a whole bunch of tremendous benefits. You get to come to one of the live boot camp trainings for free. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of great benefits, so people should go check that out. And for me personally, um, if you're interested in selling, 
than DaveD.com. DaveD.com, yeah. And they yeah. should check out all your videos. I mean, they're phenomenal. Um, yeah, there's that's... talks on YouTube, but DaveD.com and uh, the GKIC. Thank you, Dave. And I, I want to put a clip to one of your – I was looking for one of your magic shows online, and I couldn't <laughs> find one. Is there one online? No, not online. Nope. I want to clip it to the end of this. No, I don't. I don't. I don't there's, have that. There's none. I, I, I don't even have it. The last I haven't performed professionally in years. No, I mean I just, just an old. I want to put like an old. I don't even have anything, dude. Damn. And if I did, it would be, dude. It would be on a, a VHS tape. I, I love. It's fine. I, I'll transcribe it. I'll, get I'll it. tell you what. Next time, here's what we'll do. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. Next, here's what we're gonna do. We'll tease them. Next time we come on and we do this, all right? I will, uh, I will influence the entire audience through. The computer screen. Okay. We will do something live okay. on the computer screen. Okay. I mean, I'll literally read someone's mind or project thoughts into people's mind, and we'll prove that yeah. it actually happened. Yeah. Because I'm, I mean, from a, a selfish standpoint, I'm just, I love the stuff, and I was looking for it because I wanted to see you in action. But um, we'll do it, that next time. Honestly, we'll do right. something live. That'd be cool. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I had a great time. Me Thanks. Too. Bye.